Welcome back everybody. This is Kraken Packs MTG and today we have our first Lost Caverns of Ixalan set booster box because of course the collectors seem to be delayed but this one is for my Facebook group member Tony R. Thank you for sponsoring this box and of course these have a topper um, and these seem to be those in the special guest slot seem to be the star of the show so hopefully we'll get lucky and uh, hopefully I won't forget to open that topper because I have a real bad track record of not opening those. But if you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment to get away, get, get in on the giveaways we do here. This Friday, we'll be giving away a booster box. I'll give you guys a choice if you want to Lord of the Rings or Ixalan box. It's up to you if you win. But let's get started. Let's quit wasting time. These are Japanese packs. So the rares will be in the front, starting off with Whale and Xavier. A little bit of commander action there. We do have a shot at the Jurassic World cards. They say they're inserted one in every 12 boosters. Um, seems like we average roughly three per box. And we, there, there's also, I guess you could count the Jurassic Park lands as the uh, hit is. Speaking of Jurassic Park lands, look really, really sick. Look at that. Love it. Um, the rare was Unstable Glyph Bridge. Don't know if you guys have had a chance to look over the set. Um, Craft seems like a very interesting uh, mechanic. Don't know if it's going to be good or not. Seems like it's it's very uh, you got to you got to put a lot in, you know, to pull it off. Little uh, Odyssey card here, deep reconnaissance on the list. Foil contest of claws, Terror Tide, and a gorgeous Tashana's Tide Binder. Look at that. If this was in foil, definitely feels like it's out of a secret layer. And then our art card. So, so far, I think Ixalan is like eight and a half, nine out of 10. Woo, there's our special guest, Underworld Breach. Big hit there. And a guess shaft. So, uh, you can get Mana Crypt, and we have hit two. The first two boxes of this that we opened did have a crypt. A little bit of stamped art card there. But Underworld Breach is still solid. Not mad about that. The Crypt does look pretty insane, though. Guess you have to go with it. You know, I'm uh, this is this is the first set in a long time that got that has me wanting to build decks again. I don't know if it's the kid me and just the love for dinosaurs, or if the set's just actually that good. If you read some of these cards, they are super super interesting. Uh, we got the prairie here, a little bit of man land. I think it's I think it's curious that we got man lands in two sets back to back. Um. I think we're due for a new, a new good duel. Stalker. I think formats live and die by how good the land cycle that is currently legal. Uh, the last time we had a healthy standard, we had check lands and shocks. And I think that was a big part of it. You could literally play any deck you wanted to, any color combination. Brass is tunnel. Ooh, Admiral Brass unsinkable. Well, Commander Mythic there. So uh, I think I think the the equation for a healthy format is how good the mana base is, and uh, standard hasn't had a good mana base since 2018 ish, 2019 ish, something like that. I don't know if there's anything that can resurrect standard, but I hope it does. It's just another you know nice little Friday night magic, easy. I know a lot of people um, don't care for it, but you know standard is it's it's a little more accessible. Even though it does rotate, these borderless showcase lands, they slap so hard. They slap so hard. I want to go back to the olden days where, where standard was in paper, not on arena. The Millennium Counter. You have to have a thousand time counters on this. Lots of ways to get it there. Super cool card. Lots, lots of really interesting stuff in the set. Lots of really interesting stuff. Really Really pushed the envelope with this one, I feel like. And this is our 10th pack, so we're a third of the way through the box. Got a Aura Barbs out of Kamigawa. He has Betrayers. And the Soul Cleaver there. Dreadmaw. I really can't wait to get my hands on the collector boosters of these because the set boosters feel pretty loaded. So I can only imagine what the, uh, another Diamond Land, what the collectors are going to be like. 
Really can't wait. And I'm curious why the uh, why they were delayed. I wonder if it's a printing issue, supply chain. I wonder what the uh, the decision making to delayed or the reason they were delayed is. Do you guys have any insight into that? Just let me know in the comments because I'm curious to know. Corpses of the lost. You start losing corpses, you're uh, you're, you're not doing real good. Don't lose those. It ends badly. Polanis Hatcher, Blood Letter of Aklazots. The Vampire Demon. Look at the art. These, if you haven't got to see one of these showcase cards in foil yet, they look amazing. Showcase for us there. Absolutely amazing. Loving these. I have to get some more sleeves. We've been running through them. I'm going to sit that there for the time being. A little sleeved up shortly. Doing pretty good here, Tony. Doing pretty good. Thank you for letting me open this for you. We got another one on the way, too. So uh, we got double beef for Tony. Going to back this one up with another one. Look, look at that. Super spooky. Stamped art card. Heartstone. Got a stronghold. I used to love that artwork back in the day when I was a kid. Pugnacious Hammer Skull. This has a 6-6 uh, six, six for 3 that has like a very small drawback, especially if you're playing with these cards. Uh, first among equals to go with it. Got the Firstborn of Yishath. Borderless card there. I'm a fan of borderless cards. Um, some of the other crazy treatments is uh, a little over the top. Got too many variants, but uh, borderless... I'm, I'm okay with borderless sticking around, staying. Ooh, the Myco Tyrant? I've not even seen this one yet. Almost knocked a card out of my hand. Look at that guy. That is a scary mushroom. Sheesh. See, like, like I'm telling you, there's so many showcase frames. This one, I really dig this one because it almost looks die cut. Really big fan of that, especially if it was die cut. But of course, then we, they wouldn't be tournament legal. They wouldn't be tournament legal. So here we go. The the white god. This card is insane. Sheesh. Tony is racking up on the mythics. Still looking for our Jurassic Park cards. I'm hoping we got one of the tokens. We got a couple of lands. Hoping that doesn't count towards our total. Maybe it does. We hit the mother load. Interesting card. Discover 10. The Surging Soul, Commander Mythic. This box has been loaded with Mythics thus far. So hopefully you guys get to go out this Friday to jump in your pre-release. This, this is going to be a good uncommon there. A super fun, insane limited format. I mean, I can't wait to see the decks that get built. Uh, we got the Showcase Among Equals there. Thrashing Bronzodon. Uh, I think this was in Rivals Ixlon. It's worth a couple bucks back in the day. It's been printed a couple times since, but uh, super solid 3 4 for 3 that you can uh, destroy an artifact or enchantment with. Comes in and does work. Gets the job done. Ooh, wee. We got a green sleeves on the list. Holy smokes. There we go, Tony. What's going to be with it? You got the Thunder Hulk. That's a gnome. Looks like it would be a construct or something like that, but nope, it's a gnome. Beautiful swamp there. On our last stack of packs here, looks like we got eight or nine left. Again, thank you, Tony, for sponsoring this video. Foil Abuelo, let's go, Grandpa. Terrian's Journal. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, as always, because I'm, you know, if, if you don't watch, I'm not here. Um, I, I appreciate you that enjoy my videos that show up day in and day out. And, uh, you know, you make it all worthwhile for me. So, really love you guys. Deep Fathom Echo. Love you guys. Foil Swamp there. And, uh, yeah, just, just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's see what we get. Another man land. Definitely want your man land in here. What's our card? Dinosaurs. And I definitely feel like the dinosaurs overshadow the other tribes in the set. And I guess rightly so. This card is... You guys tell me, is this card as good as I think it is? A 5-3 for 4 with Ward 2. And you get 2 free green every pre-combat -combat main phase. This card seems insane. 
but I'm, a, I'm an old magic player. So I don't think my brain has caught up with power creep yet. So cards that would have been good 10 years ago probably aren't as good as they are now. But uh, you got the subterranean schooner. Tendrils. Hidden nursery. A little stamped arc. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that signature there. It's really cool. So as this video comes to a close, again, we got a giveaway Friday. We're going to be giving away the Lord of the Ring box or an Ixalan box. So uh, winner will get to choose to do to end. I get, I get asked in the comments all the time, what do you have to do then? Just all you have to do is comment, but if you don't mind, please subscribe. Leave me a comment too. Helps with the algorithm, the interaction. Molten Collapse Borderless. That's all you really got to do. And I'd appreciate it. Try to get my videos reached out to a lot of other viewers that typically wouldn't get to see them. Because um, I'm a middling Magic Gathering YouTuber. Trying to grow. Trying to put up daily videos. Trying to make new and fresh content for you. I'm eventually going to move away from the pack opening videos. I'm still going to do them, but I'm going to mix in ooh, the drama. Woo-wee! Cavern of Souls. Nice hit in the close here for Tony. But uh, I'm going to mix in other content, too, because pack opening videos only stay fresh and relevant for a few days. I want to have some videos that have some longevity. Braided net, but we'll get there. But I, as always... Thank you for joining me. This is the last pack. I love your faces. We'll see you in the next one. We're gonna close, oh, okay. We got one more Jurassic World card. A little Savage Order there to finish it off. Um, love your faces. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.